I've not classically been a fan of photo contests, but when I created and refereed a contest a couple months ago called Bring Your Worst, I got such a big response and had such a great time seeing your entries that I decided to hold another contest with equally cool prizes. But you know me. I'm not interested in holding a traditional best photo contest. As many of you know, I've deemed this month monochrome March. I've challenged everyone to flex their monochrome muscles and work in the monochrome medium. I wanted this contest to tie into that, so here's what I've come up with. This contest will be called Inappropriate Use of Monochrome. I want you to find a subject that you would normally capture in brilliant color and capture it in black and white instead. What do I mean? I mean, think of something where you envision amping up that saturation and really making those colors pop, and then don't. Take that color information and throw it away. Make the image monochrome. I went to the zoo the other day and did just that. Now I can't enter my own contest, but here's what I came up with for inappropriate use of monochrome. Aside from being fun, this is a good exercise to get you thinking about other elements of your photo, like composition and contrast. So. You're wondering what you might win, right? Well, let me tell ya. Zenfolio has been generous to offer not one, but two one-year premium level subscriptions to the winners of this contest. Zenfolio is a terrific online portfolio gallery and sales solution. I recently set up my own Zenfolio site, and I've been pleased with them, so I'm excited to offer this to you. The first winner will be chosen by yours truly. I will be picking out the photo that I feel is the most inappropriate use of monochrome, or at least the most creative. As for the second winner, I will randomly choose from the rest of the entries. So if you submit a photo that fits within the guidelines, you have a chance to win. Speaking of the guidelines, there are two rules. Let's go over them. Rule number one, this is important. Your entry has to be a monochrome image. It doesn't have to be straight black and white though. If you want to use sepia or cyanotype, that's fine. But monochrome only people, I don't want to be seeing color images entered. I won't consider them for prizes, even for the randomly selected winner. Rule number two. To be eligible, you must post your entry on my Facebook page and say that it is for the contest by March 26th at midnight Eastern Daylight Time. If you haven't found me on Facebook, I've put a link in the description of this video that will take you there. Don't know how to post? You go to my page, click photo slash video, upload your photo, and type in contest entry before hitting post. Feel free to give me a little story about your photo here, but make sure it says contest entry first. Now, you can post as many photos as you want on my Facebook page, but I'm only going to consider the last photo you post. So if you post a black and white photo of a box of crayons and then find a peacock that you want to capture in monochrome, that's fine. Post that new peacock photo, but that last one posted will be the one that I consider for prizes. Now, do not email your entry to me. Do not private message your entry to me. I'm not going to consider it unless it is on my public Facebook feed. So remember, has to be posted on my Facebook page for all to see, and it has to say the words contest entry somewhere in the description. I have a couple videos to help you out. First, I have a video where I talk about Zenfolio, more about what it is and why I like it. And I have two videos on capturing images in black and white. One where I show you how you can capture black and white images in camera, and another where I show you how you can convert color images to black and white in three different pieces of editing software. Okay, now folks, go out and find that beautiful, brilliantly colored rainbow, and capture it in black and white. <laughs> you have two chances to win a one-year premium levels and folio subscription. I'll be watching my Facebook page eagerly for your entries, and I'll announce the winners soon after the contest closes.